Welcome back. We've been waiting for this. If you like beer and maybe you'd like to like it a lot more, we've got the perfect opportunity for you to learn about and sample beer in a fun, relaxed, and historic atmosphere. That's right. Ed Cunningham and Crystal Marsh are here today from the Milwaukee Beer Society, where they host weekly themed tastings and other beer-related events. Hey, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Great to see you. Yeah. Too. Love having you here. Okay, so let's talk about what this Milwaukee Beer Society is in case people haven't caught on and gone to one of your Wednesday meetings yet. Sure. So uh, Milwaukee Beer Society is a weekly beer appreciation club it's a social environment where folks gather together taste different new styles of beers maybe new beers to market mm -hmm. um, and just learn more about the beer in a nice social relaxed atmosphere that Love is it. really cool and what I think is incredible is the cost for membership for your organization <laughs> for a lifetime for, a li for yes. lifetime it's 10 bucks 10 bucks I mean yep. can you beat it can't beat that. You can't, you can't, <laughs> beat that. can't beat that. <laughs> Tell us what a meeting is like. When people go, what what can they expect? What what happens? You come in, you sign in, you grab a tasting glass, you find a seat, you start talking to people. We uh, then we do a cheers, start <laughs> pouring the beers, uh, and then we sample about twelve beers per 12, per yeah. week, mm -hmm. um, and then you make notes on what you liked, didn't like, and at the end of the night we do uh, a voting and come up with our favorite beer for the night. That's, That's so cool. fun. Well, I think it's neat because you learn so much about what you like, what you don't like. You try things you would never normally maybe go out and spend the money on. Exactly. So this is a typical sampling of about 12 b different beers mm -hmm. that you yes. would have at a meeting so people can taste, and you often have a theme. So when people come, they can expect to have some sort of theme or idea that you're exploring that night. What are some typical themes or ideas? So it may be, um, you know, a style of beer. So it could mm -hmm. be stouts, it could be wheat beers, like what we have today. Uh, it could be from a particular geographic area, okay. or it could be from a particular brewery. Sometimes we have brewery visits. Either brewers will come in or we'll actually go visit the brewery. Neat. Tiff and I want to attend a meeting. In fact, yeah. we were just talking about it again keep today. talking about it. And I wonder, do people need to be a member when they, they visit for the first time? No, they do not. You can come in your first meeting. You can uh, come and enjoy without having to become a member. After that, we ask that you do become a member. It's only $10 to join. And then the weekly tastings range from $10 to $15, depending upon the beers being sampled. See, I got to uh, know, has anybody ever visited and not become a <laughs> member? Rarely. <laughs> rarely. Rare, yeah. rare. yeah. <laughs> what made yeah. you want to get involved, Crystal? I've always loved loved beer and I love meeting new people yeah. uh, and so when I heard about the group I thought why not yeah. let's give it a try and I I get to try a bunch of beers that I maybe uh, wouldn't otherwise want to go out and buy a whole bunch of but I get to try it and see if I like it yeah oh. well and I think it's cool that you're here Crystal because I wonder how many of the people who participate who are members of the beer society are women like you I, there's about 40% women wow to 60% men so we're we're raising the numbers we're, yes. We're, we're, yes bringing in That's more right. women who Come enjoy on, yes. beer uh, like sampling, like meeting new people. Love it. That's so, awesome. I'm thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's get, get to it. it. Yeah. Bring get it to in. the point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So today we have wheat beers. Um, basically what we try to do is display the diversity in wheat beers. Okay. So wheat beers, um, normally beer is brewed with barley um, as, as the grain. These are more wheat heavy, obviously, mm -hmm. being wheat beers. Um, we have Belgian examples, we have German examples, and some uh, takes on it from the U.S. So. All right, okay. so what's our first right, one? It's this one over here. Uh, so that is, this is a traditional German style Hefeweizen. Cheers. Hefeweizen. Das ist gut. <laughs> okay. Prost. So this is from um, one of the oldest breweries in the world, actually. It's good. Um, so this you'll probably get a more... Chewy beer. Yes. So yes. you'll probably get clove and banana mm -hmm. notes on this one. Oh, there is banana. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't, unless you had said that, I would, see, you don't know, the, you don't think of those things unless you go to the Beer Society meeting. Exactly, so yeah. yeah. Banana in that beer. Banana, even mm -hmm. smells a little bit like banana. Mm -hmm. I like that. So yeah. that's the that yeast better. and the wheat that, you, that you're tasting in there. All right, okay. what's yep. next? Next up is the Priscilla, which is a, an American spin on a wit beer uh, from Oscar Blues Cheers. in Colorado. Okay. It smells Cheers. sweeter. Cheers, yes. guys. It's gonna have a little more citrus. Mm-hmm. So Belgian mm. wheat beers will have more of a coriander type flavor. Okay. Yeah. So you might be getting mm. some of that. Okay. A little more, more spice. Yeah. A little more mm -hmm. spice to it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. 
Next up, a little cloudy beer. Yeah. Yeah. So this one, uh, so this is unfiltered. Some wheat beers are filtered. Ooh, I like the some way it smells. Not. It smells grapefruity. Yes. Mm. So this is uh, by a brewery here, or not too far away in Chicago. So it's Yuck. Five Rabbit is the brewery. Five Lizard is the name of the beer. Okay. This is my favorite. It's a That's Belgian whip beer, but it, it has some passion fruit in it. Ooh, oh my gosh, it is so passion good. Passion fruit. I like that. All right, mm -hmm. what's the last one here then? And the last beer is from a local brewery here in Milwaukee called Mobcraft, and its hop goes the Gosa. <laughs> um, I like the cheers. <laughs> and on this guys. one, you're going to get uh, a Gosa has a little bit cheers. of salt and uh, citrus in it, so you'll get a little bit different taste than you have with these others. Oh, that's good too, though. Yep. Mm -hmm. Really good. Mm, this yes. is one that you can drink. Taste. I feel like you could have multiple glasses, though, of this. This one's on my favorite. That is fantastic. <laughs> I love it. So, yep. meetings so are Wednesday. Mm. Every Wednesday, yep. you guys meet from 6 to 9. Yep. Sample beers, a lifetime membership is just 10 bucks. And then, if you join weekly, then you just pay a small fee Correct. for the, for the for sampling of the beers mm -hmm. for yes. that event. It's um, almost always at Best Place, uh, Historic Paps Brewery, but not always. They might go different places. So, check their website. It's Milwaukee Beer System. Society.com.